now. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. Lightning struck the steeple of New Bethel AME Church in Ormond Beach around 4.30 this afternoon. We have team coverage tonight. Chief Meteorologist Tom Sorrells will pinpoint the lightning strikes from this afternoon and tell us about more strong storms on the way for tomorrow. But we begin with New Six's Treasure Roberts live in Ormond Beach tonight with the latest on that strike, Treasure. Yeah, Lisa, the senior pastor here tells us about $100,000 in damage was done here. You can see this broken glass right here. Well, that actually came from the front door of the church, which is now boarded up. And on top of all of that, up top on the roof, the steeple was damaged by a fire that broke out. The pastor says if the insurance company doesn't cover all of this, they're definitely going to need some help. Not now, Jesus. It was my heart was beeping. I was crying. Floyd Narcisse, the senior pastor of the historic New Bethel AME Church, was thrown into a panic Monday afternoon. While teaching at a nearby high school, he answered an unexpected call. I got the call. Still not my church was on fire. I, I was in shock. Narcisse rushed over after first responders told him a lightning bolt struck the church. It caused the steeple atop the 139 year old Ormond Beach Church to burst into flames. The cross now lies on the roof and inside the fellowship hall there's tile damage and leaking water there's a lot of destruction inside and it's, it's sad but i'm blessed because it could have been worse fortunately no one was inside when the fire started there was a big flash that happened jason leslie an ormond beach resident believes he drove by the church the moment lightning hit but at the time he thought it nearly struck his car so my vehicle actually like did a little shake and like almost like kind of like an earthquake feeling minutes later he got a call alerting him the church was on fire. And I told my brother-in-law that I think I almost got struck by lightning. And he goes, no, I think it struck the church. The church will rebuild this steeple for the second time. In 2016, Hurricane Matthew ripped it off the historic building. It was replaced with material that could withstand strong wind. This church has a small congregation, and mending the building won't be cheap. We need all your help. We can help. All your help if you can help us. The pastor says they may not be able to have church here on Sunday, so at this point, they're looking for a place to worship. In Volusia County, Treasure Roberts getting results, News 6.